All right, it's high time that we started the Lexus up for the first time, one of the first times this year. I got the keys, let's go. Okay, fully dead. No fear, I suspected this. The last couple times I've had battery troubles, and after I've placed their battery a few times, I've come to determine that it's most likely the alternator. So, I'm gonna source an alternator. I'm gonna call O'Reilly and Napa, see if I can get one local that's not too expensive. All right, so we need to call O'Reilly's and see if they have an alternator. Hey, my name is Jesse. I was wondering if you guys had a alternator for a 2006 Lexus IS350. I do, you're looking at 195, $20 core on top, lifetime warranty. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah, they are. Oof. All right, thank you for the information. Whoa, 190? That was O'Reilly's. I'm gonna try to call Napa now, see what they say. Wondering if you had an alternator for a 2006 IS350. Yes, I do. I have one in stock for 187. Uh, do you have a, is there a core charge? Yes, $88. The core charge is $88? If you brought the core in with you, it would only be 187 before tax. If you didn't, it would be 275 before tax. Oh shit. I'm just gonna go into O'Reilly's. All right, one alternator is $234 later. Napa wanted $280. Good lord. Probably should just have ordered it online, but I don't have that kind of time. I do, but I don't. Now I need almond milk, which they don't have. Gotta get back over to the shop, because Jared's gonna be there in about 10 minutes to do a shoe for Devin's clothing brand. All right, so Jared just got there. I am a couple minutes out. We're gonna pop the hood on the old Lexus and Hopefully it's the alternator. I don't know what else it would be, but. Okay, back with the alternator. 200 and, no, no, $234 later, plus the core charge. So, now, like almost any other thing I do on my cars, I'm going to need to YouTube on how to do it, and I'll figure it out, then I'll be back. Oh, it was right there. Right there. <laughs> All right, so after watching a nice little thing on YouTube, I have an idea how this goes. So I'm gonna start by taking the belt off it, which was pretty simple, just need to move the tensioner, the tensioner pulley and take the belt off. Now I need to, there's two bolts to get this mother off. So that bolt and that bolt, and hopefully it'll come off like we want it to. We got two bolts out, so hopefully it just pop out, right? Oh yeah, it doesn't move at all. So of course it wasn't as easy as taking those two bolts out, right? Yeah, correct. This is gonna be a absolute to get out. You're telling me I need to take the whole ECU and the box out. That's serious, are we serious? Did I say I was gonna, did I say I was gonna do this? It's never as easy as it seems, is it? Dude, even watching Devin work on stuff, which is basically all he does every day, Still, something inevitably goes wrong. That's the one similarity that him and I have, is that neither of us have any formal training. And so everything we do, like we just figured out how to do it at some point. He knows a lot more than I do. All right, so yeah, as I expected, I need to take the whole ECU out of the way and the whole ECU box out of the way. And then also while we're there, we're gonna vacuum up the mouse nest that's in the center of my engine bay. Okay, so this has been quite the interesting process. The alternator is like on like the bottom kind of right side of the engine. It's not that easy to get to. So I need to take some stuff out and then hopefully it'll pop off and we'll put the other one in. Which I'm gonna go take a break and shoot a little bit with Jared uh, somewhere else. Then I'll come back here a little bit later. And now I'm gonna go eat some food and then I think I'm gonna go mess around with the Lexus a little bit more. Not where I want to leave it. It's also a little longer than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, replacing the alternator because it was in a harder spot than I thought it was gonna be. So, probably in some subway and then get back over there. All right, so we're back to the car. Looking at the other alternator, it only looks as if there's two bolts I need to remove, but the one that's in there right now is not budging at all. Huh, 
So, confused a little bit. Jesus Christ, everything's so tight I can't see anything. After one headlight, just a lot of dirty hands later, I finally got this stupid thing out. And what not a lot of people told me on the interwebs is that there's a third bolt in the back with this bracket right here. The bracket is in the back corner. It's a 12 millimeter. Fuck that shit. It's in super hard position. I hated it. Oh God, I think I'm done for the day. I will come back and put the new one in later because my back hurts, I'm pissed off. I lost a bolt down in there. <sighs> uh. All right, so I came to finish this thing. So I'm just gonna put the thing back in. So the worst part is there's a bolt way down in the back here with the bracket. I can't find. Did it go in? Is it in? I think it's in. Oh, it's in. It's in. Now it's to tighten the fucking thing down. The bolt to the back thing that I just was looking at is nowhere to be found. It dropped in there somewhere. I'm gonna figure out if I need that bolt at all. Hopefully we don't. Cause I can't get under the car at all cause it's too low. No. So we're just gonna tighten it down. Put the fucking, uh, what's it called? The, the belt back on. Hopefully we'll be out of here. Okay, so the alternator's in. Now I need to hook it back up. Everything about this design is just horrible. I lose this bolt trying to get it on. I'm throwing the whole car away. Wait. That also doesn't make sense. Wait, maybe it does. So how I drew the belt was not necessarily making sense of how it goes. I didn't, I didn't figure out, I didn't say which, which way was up. So it looks like this. But that doesn't make sense, and that also doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, because the tensioner. No, okay, no, wait, hold on now. So filming that was gonna be a bitch, but we got the belt back on the tensioner. Everything looks like it should be, because in the process of uh, replacing the alternator, you take off the belt for the engine, which like runs the whole fucking thing, and I'm pretty sure I put it on right, but we're gonna find out in here T minus a couple minutes, and if it blows up, I'm fucked, and if it doesn't blow up, I came and did what I should, so. Oh boy, I'm really nervous right now. I don't know, be ready to pull some if something blows up, I guess. Why is it doing that? Is everything spinning properly? Something wasn't plugged in. Okay, that's fucked. Now try. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. We have a run. I don't know how I got this out of here. All right, so I got to a good stopping point. I got the alternator in, I got the ECU hooked back up. Broke a couple things, well, broke part of the ECU flange off, but it was just a piece of metal. So, we're sitting right here as it is. Um, everything started and ran as you saw, but I just gotta make sure all the bolts go back in and that she starts to rise. I probably have to get another, one more battery, because it died. So as of right now, we're doing good. I'm probably gonna upload this one and then we'll do the next one for the next video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully she runs next time. The party never ends!